Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we're looking at this foot and this foot and seeing why they're overgrown and fixing them as quickly as we possibly can so that this cow feels instant comfort and relief. Guys, this is the Hoof GP. If you haven't already done it, smash the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, and one more thing before we get started. If this video gets 21,406 likes, then I'll let you guys into a secret that I've been keeping and I've been desperate to tell you. Cheers guys, smash that like button. Oh my God, I think it's literally the hottest day on record ever. I am melting. Wait, that doesn't look good. I put this in here to space them apart so I can work on each claw individually. And believe it or not, this one is really overgrown as well. So just think how overgrown this is. If I just hit pause here on the video, you can actually see exactly why this cow's feet are so overgrown. She has had a period of laminitis. Laminate is what connects the outer wall horn to the inside of the foot, and itis basically means that they're inflamed or swollen, and you can actually see that on this orangey ready part here, where the laminae have been stretched, and that has caused the foot to have increased blood flow and therefore increased horn production. And because of all this going on, that means this cow has been in pain at one point and she's avoided using this claw at all, which obviously decreases wear and because there's added growth, this horn is A, not wearing as much and B, growing faster than it normally would. Let's get back to the video though and see how much of an improvement we can make to this cow's foot. Will it be perfect? Will it be nearly perfect? Will it be any better at all? I've not quite finished the trim yet, but if I put my hand up beside the foot as it is now and then compare the two side by side, I'm pretty sure you can see a colossal difference. Imagine the difference in comfort to this cow. So we'll just finish off this trim by modelling it out a little bit and taking a little bit more height off the outer claw and then we're going to move on to foot number two and see how much worse it is than this one, or if it's any worse at all. As you can see straight away, it pretty much mirrors the back left foot. So we're going to crack on and see if we can replicate the results we gained on the other foot on this foot or if this has any hidden surprises.
as you can see, we're starting to achieve pretty much the same result as we did on the other foot. But with a cow like this, who has had such major, major overgrowth on her outer claws, the proof is when she actually gets to walk, because things will be radically different to what they were before we trimmed her. Imagine the difference that cow must feel. There's no doubt, you can see walking with her new shoes on seems a little strange to her, but I'm confident in the next hour or two, she will be really, really benefiting from the last 10 minutes work. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Catch you later.